Hello everyone, Abdul Muksit here with another interesting topic on Croco Block. Today we will build our own support ticketing system in WordPress Jet Engine. This system will allow users to raise tickets and then the administrator or the concern department need to answer and resolve the ticket. So let's start. All right, so I already built the flow in Adobe XD and I will explain to you the flow and the structure before starting the practical. This is the structure. We will have a ticket CPT, custom post type, where we will have the title of the ticket, of course, the CPT ID, the date and time which on which the ticket was raised, subject, it can be a drop down. Uh, for example, uh, this system will be specifically for IT related problems, uh, IT support. So we will mention hardware problem, software problem, internet issue, network issue and so on. We will have a uh, urgency which will be a taxonomy. It's urgent, it's normal and so on. We will have a status of the CPT. If it is resolved, it's open and so on. It is assigned. We will have author of the CCT, the one who raised the ticket. And we will have of course the description of the ticket. Now for feedback, of course there will be multiple feedback to one ticket, we need to take CCT. It works without CCT also if you don't need feedback, but feedbacks are important. For example, a ticket is, is assigned to someone and he provide justification and he forwarded it to someone else and so on. So the, the whole history should be mentioned with CCT. We have CCT ID and then we have CPT ID. It's one to many relationship, one ticket can have multiple replies or feedback we can use uh, jet engine relationship also but i will avoid that for now because it's uh, a bit difficult to upload or to add cct from front end to cpt there is some 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 glitch that's why we will have date and time the time which the feedback was added author uh, they can have back and forth reply also so for example uh, a user who raised the ticket and the author reply that this is solved the user again reply that no it is not solved i can still see the issue and so on so this cct section should have back and forth replies and detail and description the third instance we have is users which will be connected with both cpt and cct a user can create a ticket and he can reply to cct also and we will just use display name for uh, users the next this is the login uh, they can log in with email and password of course we will build this system with the help of jet engine profile builder so the user has complete rights to change the password create account login and so on click on login this is the first page the dashboard where it show a glance of the system uh, how many tickets you have generated how many open tickets and how many close tickets for these numbers we will be using query builder down it shows uh, top five recent tickets with the ticket id now this ticket id can be your uh, cpt id and you can add a prefix tk or something as per your requirement the title of the ticket it shows date and time now i have converted date and time to human readable so it's more meaningful people knows how many days before they have submitted the tickets now this is the subject which i was mentioning in the start that uh, this is id support so the problem can be regarding the software, internet, hardware, software orientation and so on. So these are the subjects you can change or you can remove if you want. The last thing is status. These are taxonomies which will show how many how many cases are open and how many are closed. Now if I click on add new ticket, it shows me the form. So title, subject and details. Now there are certain things which are hidden like author and date and time which should be fetched directly from wordpress once they click on submit ticket it will show them the open tickets okay it will have pagination they can see uh, by date all the tickets if i click on one of the ticket it goes to single ticket layout where i can see all the details internet speed is slow these are the details on the right side i can see mark as the resolve now this button will convert the status from open to close we will use it for, with the help of form builder it shows ticket id date and time subject and who raised this ticket so in this case it shows the name of the author 
here on the left side we have feedbacks which are cct connected with that okay so for example this person who raised the issue and this person replied and he assigned to someone now i logged in and i want to reply so if i click on add feedback a reply has been added from my side also okay so it's back and forth reply from multiple authors once the ticket is resolved you can click on mark and resolve and it, it will come to the, the main system again and if you click on log off it will go to the login all right now we will move towards the practical i already have wordpress setup uh, where i install elementor and uh, jet engine croco block and it is, uses the hello theme from elementor first step is to create cpt of tickets i will go to post types and create a new post type called tickets okay and i will take a new field called ticket details and let's keep it basic editor okay uh, other than that we don't need anything let's change the icon also to tickets for example at post type so now we can see tickets here now the next step is to create taxonomy or categories so how many taxonomy we need to create for subject for urgency and status add new subject and the post type is tickets now these subjects you can take it meta fields also but taxonomy are more flexible than meta fields all right uh, with tickets and i'll make it hierarchical at taxonomy next we need to create urgency for tickets and the last one is status remember if sometime you are using very generic terms in wordpress make sure to accompany it with something for example status is very broad keyword it can be used for system also to so make sure make it ticket status be it for meta fields or for taxonomy or for something else select post type tickets and taxonomy all right now we have three taxonomy okay ticket status i will add open and resolved or closed okay for urgency i will add normal high priority okay for subjects uh, i am building this system for it solution it support so i will mention software issue hardware internet orientation to the staff and uh, network and others it will be used as a drop down okay so first past finish now the next thing is to create cct so go to jet engine you will not find cct here click on jet engine and enable it from here custom content save let's refresh and we got cct let's create a feedback cct icon should be this one and what are the fields so we need date and time is automated author is automated and we just need details and reply description and who is weak add content time sorry i missed a field post id or ticket id ticket id I'll take it as a number and I will push it from the form 
directly from the front end admin column ticket id okay that's it uh, let's refresh and i can see feedback here okay hit new and i have description and i have ticket id ticket id will be id of this cpq from cpq next we have users and so on go next okay now what we need to do is to create the forms and activate profile builder so let's go to jet engine and from here we will activate profile builder for those who don't know what is profile builder it's an internal system in jet engine which allows you to create a member area so only user who are registered or logged in they can enter in the system there are videos on youtube also if you want to check it details okay profile builder now first uh, let me create a page and this page is for example dashboard okay i will publish it let's go to jet engine profile builder and here i will choose account page it's dashboard this is our account page click on save all right so let's design the home page i will take two columns and i already downloaded the picture from unsplash we'll use this picture let's make the height of this section to full width full height sorry okay and here let's make it position center right and repeat no repeat and size should be contain all right on the left side we need the form login form so we got login form. all right i'm i'm i know it's not the same but we just want to save some time i can spend some time on styling it correctly but it's not the objective of our tutorial then you have to go to settings and reading and make this page as a home page so let's refresh we got our home page ready the login page now here i am already logged in if i go to jet engine and profile builder you remember we created a page called dashboard so we will choose dashboard as our home page for logged in user this home page is for everyone once they click once they log in they can go to this page okay now here we need to create the template for the logged in users so add new page and dashboard home let's create here i just want to mention a welcome message then we will design it later on all right just add some heading and i'll choose user field display name and here i will welcome to the user and publish once the template is published now we have to map it in profile builder so i will go to profile builder account page and the main page is called dashboard and the template is dashboard home all right save okay so here if i click on main not found it should be dashboard what what is the okay it's a dashboard okay so welcome my name now in the login page what you want to do is to copy the url and here in login we have additional option after login we need to take our users to here okay and after logout we want them to be on this url okay let's update 
so each time someone log in they will go there now another problem is what if someone is already logged in for example this user is already logged in he need to go to that page so we want to show a button to the login user so for that we need to enable dynamic visibility go to jet engine and dynamic visibility save now i need to refresh this page so the dynamic visibility will be here i want to show this section to log out user only dynamic visibility and show this if user is not logged in okay so it will show this section if he is logged in he or she is logged in then we need to show a message user field display name welcome back okay let's give it a style and here i need to add a button go to dashboard and dashboard is this url okay dashboard. so once they click they can go to dashboard now here we need to apply dynamic visibility show only if user is logged in and same goes for this one these are very interesting small feature but it can make your system very user friendly both are added let me refresh this one here i can see welcome back okay and if i log in as a incognito i will see a login form okay login form if i log in it will take me to a dashboard okay everything works fine so far now the next step is to create these pages so we will create our dashboard this page okay this page now in order to have a clean layout we need to create some dummy header and footer in elementor go to elementor templates theme builder because for some reason even if i disable header and footer it still shows in the output here we cannot see but if you go to the dashboard you will still see the header and footer so the easiest hack is to create dummy header and footer you can create the the same header and footer also but i prefer to create dummy okay publish all site and let's refresh so we don't have now we have a dummy footer so let's go back theme builder and create a dummy footer refresh so we have our own details only content only all right so first thing let's take a two section two column layout and let's make it full width on the left side i need the logo i will just take a screenshot Alright, let's make it small. Left align. 
and the color of this should be white and the color of the page should be bg okay background uh, on the right side we need the icon box icon list where we can display the user details from dynamic text choose user field and display name here i will write welcome let's change the icon to user let's make the section center and right side okay we need a little bit padding from the right side 20 and 20 from left side let's update the system and see the preview perfect now the next step is to create the content of the dashboard so first we have a left side column where we have the profile menus let's create profile menu first we'll go to main jet engine profile builder and create dummy pages to column layout full width let's give like 50% of 50 pixels of left and right margin and actually we need three columns okay here let's make it white and we will insert profile menu vertical align and let me pause the video and i will style it all right the style has been done uh, we will add some border radius to this section the same goes for this one white background and 10 border radius and let's have a heading dashboard let's give a color of black now i have a tutorial on youtube how to add icons to these uh, menu let's add it now you will go to font awesome and here you can find the classes for these icons so for example for home i need to use this one i will go to jet engine profile builder and account pages and for dashboard here i will insert dashboard okay for open ticket i will use i think it's i this one okay i and i slash so for open it's fine and for close i slash for setting we need to use the cog yes okay And for logout, we need to use out. Sign out. Sign dash out. Let's save it. Update and let's refresh our dashboard page. 
so we got an issue because these fonts are not updated sometimes you might face this problem go to elementor tools and settings and here we have lot font awesome support yes refresh we got the icons now there is a bit of problem with the spacing for spacing you can use e m s p it gives more than one space to html save and let's refresh okay now the space is good now the next step is we need to create open ticket and close tickets page i will save this as a base template so i can use it anywhere close exit go to save templates add new patch template open tickets hide paste not paste go to my templates insert this template publish same goes for close tickets We go to back to profile builder and here we need to specify the templates open ticket should be open ticket template and close should be close save and let's check whether it works or not open tickets perfect close ticket perfect all of them works fine now the next step is to create new ticket page so I'll go to dashboard and here we need a button or it should be dynamic link not a button okay and here we need a profile page for it first so i will go and add a new page for add tickets base template and let's hide the All right, add ticket, and I will publish it. Once published, I will call the same page here, add ticket. And why don't we add it directly here? Okay, and add ticket. Okay, and let's give it. yes plus okay all done save and let's refresh so 
we got a ticket ticket we don't need a button here if you need you can have a button also i will update and as per our design there is a button so you can edit also okay here i need to choose profile page add ticket okay add ticket icon should be plus and we need a full page uh, full width go here and the background color should be something reddish okay and the text color is white padding is 10 pixels and icon gap should be a little bit more okay perfect let's refresh our dashboard we got a button if you click it takes it to add ticket now for the add ticket of course we will add these section once we have data right now we don't have data this is a ticket okay now we need to create the form now form you can build with jet form builder or jet forms it's up to you i will use jet forms so need to enable them refresh forms add new We don't need an ID here. First, we need title of the post. So it's a text. Title of the ticket. And apply change. And the next thing is description. So let's take it as Wiki Editor. okay and we have something called urgency so let's take urgency as a select urgency and it should be from term m term is urgency let's hold up let's take uh, how many feet away okay a subject sorry so select a subject required term subject and subject please remember i am not recording and then editing the videos i am doing everything in one shot so if i made a mistake it's everything is run time live so if i made a mistake uh, try to understand that there is no cut copy paste okay insert update post post type is tickets post status now here you can have a uh, publish or private or draft thing if you need a review system title should be post title description should be i'm not sure whether we took description as meta field or it's description because when you call description ticket details yeah description and listing it it's sometime not fetching so i will take it as meta okay urgency is term and subject is term apply changes and publish let's refresh the page set update i will not spend much time in design on designs we just need to focus on functionality type of title of ticket i 
Emergency high subject internet submit Sub su successfully submitted and if I go to tickets I can see that the CPT has been created now let's add notification also so each time someone submit the admin get notification send admin to you admin subject is new ticket and let's add details okay save changes and update add a ticket and once the ticket is added we want to refresh the same page also so add notification uh, redirect static page no current page Okay, urgency is normal, subject is orientation, submit. Okay, the page is refreshed again. You cannot see the notification, but it is refreshed again. And let's see whether we are getting notification. So I got the notification also. Hello, the new ticket has been created orientation with the following details now here we cannot see the terms because it is fetching term id not term name we can sort of sort this out but it's not necessary right now okay so right now we expect two tickets here the next part is to create the open tickets page okay so first we need to create some queries okay we will go to query builder add new open ticket for current user okay it should be post query post type is ticket and author ID should be current user ID. Okay, that query. Now let's go back and display the information. Or what we need to do, let's create a listing and display these tickets. many fields we have one two three four okay full width first is ticket id i'll take a tight heading post id and before i want htck Okay, this is the suffix prefix or suffix. Okay, the next thing is post title. Okay, then we have dynamic field for date and time.
date and I will choose fake filter output human readable three minutes ago and what is the last field the subject the subject is term we can use dynamic term here subject orientation I will pause the video and I will style it all right so I made the styling for the listing now we will display it in open tickets so I'll go to open ticket template listing and ticket listing okay we got two listings okay vertical gap okay all right now here we got a problem it is not showing whether it's open or closed because by default we are not telling the system that all tickets should be open so let's go back to tickets and go to ticket status and let's see what is the id of the open so it's two what we need to do let's take a hidden field okay and inside we need status or ticket status and default value is two apply changes and here ticket status is term and term is ticket status okay so it's by default pushing open let's try it Red tickets okay let's go to open tickets we can see three tickets uh, ticket and let's check the status hit it and it is mark as open now in our query builder we need to show only open here so go back to query builder edit let's display the data so we got three go to text text mean taxonomy and here we need to choose ticket status field term id equal to two okay you can have its term name also for example open it works also okay one okay let's update query and refresh open tickets it's supposed to work query update query open tickets refresh What's the problem? Refresh. Ticket listing. And oh, sorry, we forgot to mention the query. Open ticket and open. All right let's go to open tickets we can see one ticket and now the closed ticket should show two same exercise query builder add new close ticket for current user show result it's ticket and the taxonomy Ticket status should be close. Okay, now it's not showing us because we don't have any close ticket. So let's go 
close it closed closed all right let's add t and you got real time data to our close go to author and choose the author id should be current user id edge query go to templates close tickets I select listing grid ticket listing it will show three and we will choose the custom query and close tickets so we can expect to perfect close close form close close tickets two open tickets one now the next step is to show the single ticket layout just like we have here okay single ticket layout now i'm not sure whether there is other way to show but usually what we do we create a single ticket layout in theme builder so let's create if there is any other way official way from crocobla please let me know because i don't seem it is a proper method add new single post i will close it we go to our base template insert the base template it's uh, insert it okay Here I will show the title of the post. Okay, which is hello world from preview. Change the source to tickets and here internet or something. Okay, apply preview. All right, now I will take two columns, intersections. Okay, on the right side we have metadata, on the left side we have the details. Uh, right side we need to add a button or resolve and let's take a duplicate so it stay on the top. Here we have ticket ID, date, subject and raised by so let's take dynamic field first we have post id 69 and i will customize field output ticket id br and tck dash okay and let's add b here and slash b here so it's bought okay so ticket id duplicate date and time
all right now we need your details so i'll remove it i will push a text editor and we need to add a dynamic field, custom field ticket details okay team internet is down and now is the feedback section which are cct let's publish it and add condition not all singular tickets and save it go back to our listing and here we need to make it clickable Wait. and let's refresh it open tickets i click here and it's open these are the open tickets now we have some problem with the spacing here we'll make it full width and this one full width now why i'm saying we need some official method for displaying single post because if i click here and i open in cognitive i can see the ticket because it's not part of dynamic uh, sorry it's not part of profile builder so the easiest hack is go to your single uh, template and add dynamic visibility show if login and here same thing okay great so it will not be visible to public even if they try now the next step is to create the form for adding ccts so we will create a new form let's go to get forms and it should be at reply here we need post id because it will add the current cpt post id and we need a physic for reply details apply changes apply details and at reply or at feedback okay now instead of send email it should be insert update custom content type the type is feedback and here the post id should be ticket id and the reply should be description i guess and apply okay and we want to redirect the user to the same page current page and publish we need to display this form here form add reply and update let's open internet is down now here we need some modifications now logically if a case is closed we don't need this here okay so what i will do dynamic visibility click here and go to dynamic visibility and click on show if equal to post term term field status term name equal to open only show this form if the status is open if it is closed don't show because it's already closed let's refresh and the form is gone let's go to open tickets and we got the form okay that's how you optimize your system let me add a testing text hello this is testing reply I will submit the reply we can't see it here because uh, we don't have any cct display as of now we'll go back and check the feedback 
so we got ticket id which is the cpt id and reply details which is hello this is testing reply now we will create a listing for displaying the cct let's go to listing custom content type feedback single feedback let me open the layout so we will design it something like that so we have author name and we have time and details i will take a full width section and let's make it the border first we need a dynamic field and it should be display name of the current cct author now remember this is very important okay you have to change the context current cct author okay and we will add an icon of user all right and let's make it in line so on the right side we can add the time 20 pixels take a duplicate let's change the colors I'll copy the code copy paste I, I think it's not working anyhow let's add something like that and we will add our system can should have same color copy paste style all right next we need to add custom content type create a date and we need to remove this thing it should be default object filter output and it should be human readable so it showed three minutes ago and let's change it to clock perfect we need third field it can be text all right and custom content type field reply okay hello this is testing reply we need some spacing so i will make it wider and here 20 pixels okay update let's close it we will go to single ticket template And let's display the listing. Listing grid. And actually, we need to type single ticket, single feedback. Okay. And one. Okay. So it shows something like that. Let's refresh the page. And we see the reply. Hello, this is second reply. Go to second reply also. Five seconds ago, five minutes ago, two seconds ago. Now we will have another problem. Let me add a ticket. Hello, new ticket. Submit. go to open tickets and we got the hello new ticket now here we have reply from the old ticket this is not part of this ticket so what we need to do we have to create a custom query which shows tickets of the current post only reply of the current post let's go to query builder Add new query and the name of the query is feedback for current 
ticket and it should be custom content type query feedback and in query we need to mention field which is ticket id equal to current post id or current id i think current id will work let's try refresh click here go to custom query enable feedback for current ticket and update let's refresh the page we don't have anything here open tickets and we got to reply for this ticket let's try on hello Hit reply it has been added let's go to this ticket and we don't have okay so this problem is resolved we can see the feedback specific to single ticket only let me add here heading other than that uh, i think our ui is completed uh, let's okay raised by we need to see who raised this ticket so let's take a duplicate of dynamic field pull it down and here we need to change it to display name okay and the context should be current post author and here let's change it to raised by so it will show my name because it is raised by me all right let's check so we have feedback section and we have raised by okay now the the necessary things are almost completed now we have to test it with another users so this one should be let me change the name so it would be more meaningful display name okay update let's refresh and we got Abdul Muqsid here and here also okay now I have open in cognitive window here I have another user with this name okay now let me add a ticket I ticket from Muxit. okay I will mention the urgency and I will submit let's go to open tickets and I can see the ticket from this user but if I go to my control panel or I my dashboard I cannot see them okay so these two query which we have created which show open and close ticket of current user we need to create two more queries which will show for everyone for administrator okay add new do we have a duplicate option here okay we have copy let's copy okay which one is query four three so four is okay copy we have here the copy okay open ticket for current user i will make it open ticket for admin okay and here we need to remove author okay we need to remove author update let's go back open ticket for admin and close ticket for admin copy edit let's remove the author okay update okay now 
let's go back to templates and open tickets we will take a duplicate of it okay and here we need to apply dynamic visibility so this one should be for admin dynamic visibility show if user role is administrator this one okay and here we need to change the query to open ticket for admin okay and this one it should be for show element if role is subscriber or whatever your role assigned to your users so for open it is done let's go back and apply it on close tickets also come on it dynamic visibility is very handy tool if you are using it properly duplicate and the second one is for administrator close ticket for admin dynamic visibility and if the user role is administrator user role is subscriber and the query is all very perfect okay let's try it so i am administrator i will click on open tickets i can see two tickets sorry it was closed ticket okay open I can see three tickets okay this is for from the other okay now i want to reply him we are as an admin as an admin of it support we are working on this issue okay add reply okay there is a reply edit let's go to incognito open and this person got the reply seven seconds ago all right i will be waiting and reply and he got the reply now the next function we need to work is resolve now I edit a button but resolve is not usually a button it's supposed to be a form because it has an action we will go to jet form and create a new form uh, let's say close case or resolve the case we will have a post ID and let's take a button of uh, resolve case apply changes let's take a hidden field which should be a close status and the value of close status should be 3 because if we go to tickets and ticket status we want to change the ticket status from open to close so open is 2 and close is 3 so the value of this field should be 3 so close status post id and last thing we need to inform the author that his case is closed we need to take another hidden field it should be author email and let's populate it dynamically from current post author email apply changes now three fields has been added let's create our first notification it should be insert update post tickets post status should be published post id post id so it will update the post if you forget to add this one it will create another ticket for you close status is term and its ticket status author email is post author we don't need to update we are using it for email notification only let's go to email notifications and email to whom email submitted field author email subject is closed or case resolved okay hello your case has been resolved in it support dashboard okay 
and let's add our final notification which is redirecting user to the same page that's it and publish now we will remove this resolve button and i will refresh the page so our form can appear now we have to insert the form here chat form and the form name is close case okay let's make it ajax go to style and i will go to button add red color with white background and let's make it full width okay and let's make it public sense all right resolve case let's give some padding and update let's refresh the page and we got the resolve case option now this ticket is for the user which uh, is in incognitive i want to close this case resolve case is resolved okay we don't have the form for adding feedback anymore if i go to my email i receive email also hello your case has been closed but now we got a problem and this resolve case is still there I will click here on this button go to dynamic visibility and show this element if equal to term field ticket status term name is equal to open okay so in this case it is closed we expect this this button should be gone okay no more button let's go to open case and hello new ticket i want to close it resolve case case is resolved close tickets it's now part of close tickets okay so i think we covered most of the topics except the design of the dashboard all right let's design it okay so we have all tickets open tickets and resolve tickets i think resolve ticket we already have the the query for open tickets we already have and for all tickets we need to create one so let's go back to query builder and create another query which shows all tickets custom content type and we choose the feedback only let's see how much we have no wrong we need to post and post type is tickets so we have six add query all tickets now go back to template save templates we open dashboard home in dashboard we need like three columns full width and i will add another one let's take icon box okay so first we have all and the icon is file let's see we get something like okay and here we will go to query result count all tickets so we have six we are getting six no it is on the top all tickets okay six let's fetch it to the left side and remove the spacing from here remove the spacing from here let's have like 20 pixels and background
for the radius and style white so everything is white white and white let's increase the size of this all tickets and white okay now let's duplicate duplicate here we need query result count of of one ticket which is one close tickets let's change the colors refresh the dashboard so we have five tickets one open four close let's go to close one two three four go to open one okay uh, what else we have on the front page we have recently raised tickets so easy duplicate recently open tickets let's make it h5 give a margin of 30 and let's add a listing grid ticket one and vertical gap should be three and let's apply the custom query of open ticket for admin so we have one open ticket let's update go to dashboard five tickets open close one let me add another ticket from this user submit hi Let's go back to dashboard. A new ticket has been opened six seconds ago by I. So this was a support and ticketing system. Now you can extend the functionality of this system. You can display the author here also who raised these tickets. You can have notifications also. You can import export tickets also. And you can also have a chart a graph how many tickets we have for this month for next month and so on it all depends on your requirement uh, i almost cover all functionality of this system time by time if i have some spare time i will add more functionality to this system and i will share with you guys if you have any question please write in the comments thank you so much